Hey guys, welcome to your love reading for Leo. This is going to be for your June 2024. You can apply this to your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. We are going to take a look and see what is going on with you guys in love and the person that you are connecting with. And then we will take a look at your person to see what their true feelings and intentions are towards you. And then we'll finish off the read to see what else you guys need to know, look out for, work on, apply this to your own unique situations, okay? Uh, you may switch the roles if you want. Keep in mind that these are general messages. Take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If this message didn't resonate with you, you may take a look at your other placements. Uh, keep in mind that these are collective messages for the collective um, Leo people, not tapping into to one specific person's energies in particular. If you're looking for a reading that's tailored specifically to your unique situations and your energies, I suggest you to uh, book a personal reading with me. The link for that is in the description box below. Ooh, ooh. Like, share, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post, when I go live. Also, if you guys are interested in following me on TikTok, Instagram, my other YouTube channel that's dedicated solely to my travels, the links for those are in the description box below. Like, uh, I already said that. Uh, if you guys are interested in following me on TikTok, Instagram, my other YouTube channel that's dedicated solely to my travels, the links for those are in the description box below. Support me on there too. So, tell me about uh, Leo. Leo in love. What's going on with Leo in love for the second half of June from the 16th to 30th? Sun, moon, rising, Venus size for Leo. For Leo. What is going on with Leo in love and the person that they are connecting with? So we have the chariot, cancer energy, and the high priestess here. Okay. We have the Seven of Pentacles here and the Six of Wands. I feel like when it comes to this connection, you guys, someone here or both you guys could be really deeply investing your time and energy into this connection here. And I feel like some of you guys just know that this is going to work out. I mean, it could be a mutual thing. Because I feel like in this very moment, you guys could be experiencing victory and success in this relationship here. Okay? We have the Nine of Pentacles. Virgo energy, pre-empress energy here, and the Three of Cups. This could be a new thing here where you guys are sort of like getting to know each other here. You know, just having a good time. All right, going out to dinners, going out for drinks and stuff like that. We have the Chariot and the King of Wands, Aries, Little Sagittarius energy. We have the Strength card here. You know, I feel like this person's telepathically is trying to send you messages like, Hey, Leo, you're really effing hot. Like, I really want to bonk you here, you know? This person's sort of like, right now, in this very moment, I feel like the energy surrounding this connection is just lust, you know? Lust and attraction and passion here, you know? Perhaps, maybe at some point, you know, maybe you guys are under the impression, right? Like, you know, this is how it's starting out. Perhaps in the future, this could turn into something more. The Seven of Pentacles here and the Strength card. Well, actually, this is a strength card. And then we have the justice card here. Whoever this person is, Leo, this is an individual with this justice card, is very transparent, very honest here, okay? I feel like this person has nothing to hide. This person's putting everything out on the table here. Like, hey, Leo, like, I find you hot and sexy and attractive. Let's have sex, okay? I don't know. I feel like everyone's, like, really horny because I feel like we're getting into the summer. You know, obviously, that kind of, like, turns everyone on in a way. Uh, we have the Ace of Pentacles here. Eventually, I can see this turning into something more. You know, eight, uh, 9 plus uh, 1 is 10. That's 10 Pentacles here, okay? Uh, let's, let's see what else we have here. The King of Wands. Hold on. Oh, that's the Knight of Wands. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Energy. Okay, so here, 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 here we go. Uh, one of the things I'm getting here is I feel like this is starting off as sort of like a friends with benefits sort of situation, but I do feel like in the future this can turn into something more. Okay, what else do we have here for uh, Leo, the person that Leo is dealing with? What is this person's true feelings and intentions towards Leo for June 2024? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for Leo. So Leo, we have the Page of Pentacles here and the Seven of Cups. I feel like this person wants to give you everything that you're looking for here. Everything that you've wanted. I feel like this person's coming in with a strong, strong offer here. Okay, we have the Eight of Swords. Whatever this is, I feel like this is an individual that just can't stop thinking about you. You are someone here that they feel like they have never met anybody like you before. 
okay? You know, I feel like if this person was in a non-committal energy here, I feel like this person feels like it's worth committing to you here. Whoever this is, I feel like you're changing this person's mind. You're changing this, changing this person's heart. You know, I feel like this is an individual that's spiritually growing here, spiritually leveling up, you know? Um, you know, I feel like because I feel like this person hasn't really, you know, really been in a serious relationship ever because I feel like this person was in this playboy playgirl energy for a long time but I feel like meeting you sort of like changed their mind here even I feel like in the beginning when you met this person this person said that they didn't want a committed relationship you know they just wanted ha to have fun they just wanted to have sex but I feel like this person's definitely seeing you as their wish fulfillment I do feel like this person's looking for something serious now this person's coming to a strong realization that you are the one for them okay you know if there's any sort of options here, you know, I feel like this person's getting rid of them. Yeah, if this person's juggling you uh, with other people, they're getting rid of them here, okay? But I do feel like this person has been very honest and transparent about what they're looking for here with you. And eventually, like I said, this person wants more. Um, I feel like it's going to happen sometime during the summertime. Yeah, probably during your season here, Leo. We have the lovers and the star. We have the Six of Swords here, and the Death card. Very interesting. With the Six of Swords here, you know, I feel like this person wants to move forward and sort of like hold your heart. You know, keep it in a safe place. Protect your heart here, okay? We have the Hermit, and we have the Eight of Wands here. Yeah, this person wants to move forward here in a relationship with you. Yeah, I, I just, just I feel like it's going to start off as sex, and then this person's going to want more. Yeah. They're going to feel like you are like not nothing like anybody that they've ever met before here. And I feel like you, in a way, have to sort of like, you know, change their mind, change their heart about surrounding relationships, you know? Uh, because like I said, I, I feel like this person was in this like player-like energy with the Page of Cups here. You know, it could have you could have met this person on one of those hookup apps or something like that. You know, and I feel like over time, this it's, it's starting to turn into more and more and more and more and more. Page of Cups and the Ace of Wands here. We have the Knight of Cups here and the, the Six of Cups. This person's basically falling in love with you. The Someone here is realizing the connection that you guys have with each other is very strong and it's undeniable here. You know, it could be that, you know, the, you and this person had some sort of past life together here. Someone here is realizing that this strong connection is something that they can't resist or that they can't resist you here, Leo. Yeah. I mean, they can't resist you sexually, but I also feel like they can't resist being in a relationship here with you. Okay? Well, let's, what else do we have for, for Leo? Page of Cups. Page of Cups. We have the Six of Pentacles here. This person showers you with, with gifts. This person is really generous here. This person has a lot to give. With the four, yeah. This person is ready for marriage and commitment. And like I said, you know, I feel like you could, you could have been dealing with this person for, for the last few months and you guys could be just, you know, hanging out, have it, having sex and stuff like that. Now this person wants more. I feel like perhaps in the next four weeks or so, maybe in the next eight weeks, you know, going into Leo season, I feel like that's when this person will be in this energy of wanting to plan a future with you, okay? I uh, wanted to move forward in a commitment here, okay? Uh, with Yeah, this person's basically falling in love with you. From lust to falling in love, basically. Yeah, we have the two of cups here. This, person's fall, this person is gonna fall in love with you. This person might not be seen right now, but or that you might not be seeing right now, but eventually there will be commitment in marriage here, okay? So, Leo. I hope that this was helpful. I hope that this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Like this video, share this video, subscribe, hit the notification bell. I'll speak to you guys in the next one. Thanks guys. Bye.